When was the last time you stopped by McDonald's to get a sausage egg McMuffin? Well, no more. Today, I'm going to show you how to make delicious sourdough English muffins from scratch. As most of you know, creating a sourdough start takes several days, so I'm going to show you how this was done. Have you ever wondered how to make a sourdough start? Well, it's really easy, and today I'd like to show you how to get yours started. You probably already have these ingredients in your kitchen, so I'll just give you the recipe. The sour starter recipe is two cups of flour, a tablespoon yeast, three tablespoons sugar, two cups warm water, and half teaspoon salt. Be sure to place your mixture in a six cup container or large bowl because the batter will triple in size. Beat with a plastic or wooden spoon. Remember, don't use metal. Fermentation will dissolve the small lumps, so don't worry about those. Cover loosely with a lid or plastic wrap, poking a few vent holes so the batter can breathe. Set this now in a warm place free from drafts, about 85 degrees if possible, and allow it to ferment for two to three days. Stir the mixture several times each day. After a few hours, you'll see that when you lift your lid, you see all these little bubbles. That means that the sourdough is fermenting just right, and it's just kind of this globby, thick dough. Just like that, and it smells quite sour. Now the more sour you want it, the longer you'll let it sit like that. Now I'll probably take about a cup and a half and use it in one of my recipes and that means that I'm just going to have to replenish it with my water and my flour and then just let it sit some more. Remember when you're doing a new sourdough starter it's got to be in a bigger bowl so I, this is how it looks and it's wonderful. This is just a perfect sourdough starter. After it has fermented for a few days just place the container in your refrigerator. Use it whenever you'd like. It makes great breads, pancakes, and even English muffins. Below are some recipes that I'd like you to try with your sourdough start. Remember, whenever you use a portion of your sourdough start, you want to make sure to replenish it so you have more for the next time you bake. It's as simple as this. Just add two cups warm water, two cups flour, and combine in a large bowl. Allow it to sit overnight on your countertop and then place it in the fridge just like you did before. I hope you'll enjoy making sourdough a part of your regular baking. I love it, and it adds a variety to my baking. Well, now that you know how to make your sourdough start, I'm going to show you how to make the English sourdough muffin batter. You're going to want to make sure to start this the night before you want to make these so that they have time to rise. We're going to add first our sourdough start. It's a little sticky and gluey, but this is the perfect way that it should look. Then we simply add some milk and a little bit of flour. And then give it a nice mix. After we're done mixing it for just a minute, we're going to cover it with either the top of your container or some plastic wrap. This should have the consistency of just a thick pancake batter. And don't worry about the lumps because the lumps will all iron themselves out as it sits overnight. Now let that just sit on your countertop till morning and then you'll be ready to make your English muffins. Now that we've let this batter sit overnight, it's wonderful. It's just fluffy and bubbly and it has lots of air inside. Now we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. We have some sugar, a little bit of sea salt, and some baking soda. We're going to just sprinkle those right over the top. Add a little bit more flour. It's going to take a little more actually than that, so let's add this much more. Of course, you're going to have the exact recipe on this DVD. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to knead it with my hand till it's nice and soft and not too sticky.